For today guys we're going to uh, continue with the demonstration on the different um, Excel functions. So last time I was able to give you the different uh, functions such as um, count if, average, average if, sum if, if functions, conditional formatting, data validation and now we're going to um, have a separate tutorial for the VLOOKUP tool. Okay, so how are we going to do this guys for the VLOOKUP? So normally we have HLOOKUP and then we also have the VLOOKUP. So H means horizontal and then VLOOKUP means uh, vertical of course. So first I have already created here the drop down. This is the, through the use of the data validation. For the VLOOKUP we're going to use um, that in order for values here to show in this particular um, cells. <clears throat> like for example, the banana and then 56 will also show here at the same time whenever you check the drop down. So in doing that, what we're going to do here is, of course, we're going to start with uh, putting the function. So start with the equal sign and then we look up. All right let's put that the parenthesis okay so in inside the parenthesis we're going to use uh, first it says here the lookup value and then we need to have the table array the index and then the range of the lookup the uh, constant that we're going to use so for the cell reference we're going to use this um, cell location since this is the one that we have a drop down so this one is under the B18. So we're going to put that B18. And then we're going to put uh, comma, space. And then we're going to use the table array. So the table array is from here, B2 to G13. So that is our table array. So this is the table where we are going to get the information. Now we put comma here and then the day one is under the column number two because we started in uh, letter B, uh, column B. So this is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that is the column number that we're going to retrieve or, uh, later on. So we're going to put here two and then the constant says here if it's true it, it's going to be approximate match and if it's false exact match so we're going to use false for that so let's put in false and that is basically the formula for the vlookup and we're going to enter that and uh, it display um, na but we're, we're going to change this and we're going to put value using the drop down it'll give us the answer and it will change automatically as we change the value on our drop down. So for the other cell, what we're going to do is we're just going to change the location or the column number. So if it's number two here, just going to copy that. And then here, it will be number three. So change it to number three. All right, then let's try to change it again. There you go. So there is a changes for that different value. So let's try to have the mango. Mango. There you have it. So five and five and seven. Let me, let us try to change this. Let me change this to six. So it actually changed also to six. This one. Let's make it number nine. And then this one. Let's have it twenty. So we'll be, we'll be able to see the changes. Ninety eight. This one 31, 20, and then 17. All right, now for this one, th since this is number three, so we're just going to change that to number four. So let's copy the formula and then put in number four. There, so there is already a changes for this. There you have it. And then this one is going to be number five. So change number two to number five. There you go. It also includes the conditional formatting or the color markings. And then for this one, this will be number six. There you go. So if we're going to change this, it will automatically change the value for that. 
There you go. Since this is these are all uh, vegetable, how about uh, changing it to apple so we can see we can see the changes. There, it's also changing. So that is it. Uh, this is also applicable if you're going to create the grades and you're going to show that individually to your students. So you can just hide the other contents and then uh, you just check the value on the drop down or the name of the student if ever you're going to create that for your student it's very helpful so that other students will not be able to see their grades so this is also using in showing my students the individual grades every after semester or um, every after quarter all right so that is basically the use of uh, vlookup tool so it's very easy uh, as long as you are familiar with the formula and also it's very useful um, especially if you have a business so it will definitely help your business to go to uh, manage and monitor the sales all right so i guess that is it for the uh, vlookup tool if you have questions you're free to comment on the comment section so thank you so again this is Sir, um, ariel thank you for uh, watching and i hope to see you again in the next video have a good day.